Hey guys, it's Megan. This recipe is out of Candice Karen Gray's book, Reshaping It All. Um, you're going to need egg noodles, chicken broth, pepper, salt, carrots. I used baby cut carrots, um, garlic cloves. You just need one of those. Parsley. I used dried parsley and water and also chicken. First, you're going to chop up the carrots. I used eight small carrots. And then you're going to combine the carrots, chicken broth, water, and garlic in a large pot. It's four cups of chicken broth, um, two cups of water, and one clove of garlic. And you pierce that with a toothpick. You're gonna bring that to a boil, reduce the heat to medium, and simmer until the carrots are tender about five minutes. While that's cooking, you cut up the chicken. Um, it says that she cuts it into half inch chunks, rinse them, and then pat them dry with a paper towel. And here I am, patting them with a paper towel. And then you mince the parsley if you do fresh parsley. I had dried parsley flakes, so that's what I used. So there I am putting the chicken and egg noodles into the broth. And then I cover and cook that until the chicken is cooked through, which takes about five minutes. And then if you use lemon juice, like her recipe calls for, um, in the next step, you'll stir in the lemon juice and your parsley, and then you fish out the garlic clove and add your salt and pepper to season. And then enjoy. And it's delicious. So, so good. Like, look how good that looks. If you're wanting the full recipe to know all of the ingredients and how much you need to use, that will be in the description box below, so be sure to check that out. So I just finished my bowl of chicken noodle soup. I even drank all of the um, juice off of it. She's eating chips right now. I'm gonna fix her some chicken in just a little bit. The soup was really, really good. Um, I did some at, oh my gosh, I can't talk. I did add some more salt and pepper once I got it in my bowl to eat. Um, and as far as Candace Cameron Bure's recipe goes, I did not use lemon juice because I used it the last time and I, w I just wasn't a huge fan of it being in there. I think she put it in there because of the benefits that it gives you when you're sick but I just didn't really like the taste of it being in there. Um, and I also don't use fresh parsley. I just had parsley flakes and I didn't have a third of a cup of the flakes. So like the dried flakes. So I just used the rest of what I had. So I'm gonna have to pick up some more of that because I use it for my chicken noodle soup and I don't know if there's anything else that I do right now as far as cooking goes that has parsley but you never know when you'll need it um but i did try fresh parsley the first time i made it and it was a lot of work so um and as far as garlic cloves i just buy the jar of garlic cloves it's a lot less work um i'm all about easy you guys so um i just have to dig the little clove out there out of the jar and put the toothpick through it and we're good to go so it's a lot uh it's a lot easier than having to buy fresh garlic and stuff. I know fresh garlic is good, but it's still, as far as I know, fresh. You know, it's just in a jar instead. So, you know. Um, yeah, so that is the soup. It, it was, like I said, really, really good. Um, we actually got snow last night, so it was nice to have soup. You know, because it's really cold out, so it's nice to have soup around this time of year. And this is a healthy soup 
We do have, um, I didn't add any crackers or anything. Sometimes I do, but I'm trying to, to, to do better. So, um, yeah, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, hope you enjoy this recipe. If you make it, let me know in the comments below. Let me know how you liked it. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.